My name is Jonathan. Um, I served in the Army National Guard when I deployed. Uh, spent nine years uh, active Army, and now I am doing uh, my last little hitch uh, in the National Guard Act AGR before I retire. It was three o'clock in the morning, uh, and we were directly under a bridge. And all of a sudden, we start hearing the chanting uh, at three o'clock in the morning. And as soon as the chanting started, uh, an RPG flew over the front of my vehicle, and it landed in the dirt, maybe about five yards in front of our vehicle. And it was just a plume of uh, dust. It didn't go off. Um, from that point on, I, I, the fear was gone. But having a having a young young girl, uh, you know, barely 19, you know, end up getting hit with an IED, you know, and uh, suffering for you know a couple hours before she before she was lost. Uh, it, that, that was pretty tough on us all uh, as well. Um, but again. You drive on. You you got missions you got to do. You you know so you do what you got to do. With my buddy, when when he ended up committing suicide himself, uh, you know I felt you know hey you, you kind of feel like maybe you could have done more. You know you could have been there. You know and it made me want to be with my kids even more, uh, which was was real tough. So I started withdrawing from everybody. I didn't want to talk to anybody. And it was my personal problems. Nobody needed to know. Holding all of the secrets in holding all of the, the pain inside, uh, you know, it kind of made it harder to assimilate into the family. They say soldiers change when they come back. And for me, it didn't seem like I had changed. Uh, it seemed like everybody else around me changed. The whole family changed. I went to the gym and I was playing racquetball a couple hours a day. I dove. Like hit the floor, the wall, my back popped and cracked and everything else and uh, ruptured a disc. I went from being super active, doing everything around the house. Now for 12 months, I was more of a burden on my family. So I've kind of felt more like a failure as a, as a father and I just kept feeling more and more worthless. And that's when I contemplated starting to take my life. One day, one of my kids said something to me that you know, made me realize I I need to get help. I need to be there to, to help them. And that's when I went and sought out some, uh, some help. The VA crisis line was the first place I called and, and then I started uh, trying to meet with a, a counselor. He coached me to knowing what I needed. And I mean, that was extremely important uh, for me. So just working those small things first and until you feel comfortable and build up that trust. Uh, you know, then I was able to talk talk deeper, you know, more to, to my heart. I saw him for, you know, several months, uh, and each time I just felt better and better. After I started seeking the help, the work performance started to increase again. I started believing in myself, I started getting more confidence. It was a lot easier to do my job, do daily things. Now I'm, I'm doing extremely successful with what I'm doing. and. Um, I, I, wouldn't be, I wouldn't be here doing this or be in good accord with the military right now if it wasn't for uh, seeking the help. The, the help truly, it, it was everything. Whether you're in combat, whether you're support, you, we, you go through different things, you go through tough times. It's not always the military. By hearing different, different people's stories, uh, you know, and what they've gone through and what they did to get help. I mean, that's crucial and critical to building up your own confidence to get help.